sun is shining, weather is sweet, and talking about sweet, of course Torvi comes for the opening of the video. Torv, say hello. Torv, say hello. Oh, she's just gave away what I'm building. So as I was saying, it's time to build this. The Rally Avanti, or is it, or as it is now, the Rally Banana. It's gone through quite a transformation and I'm really looking forward to getting this built up and seeing how it all comes together. But first, I'm gonna give you a little breakdown of the bike so far. So I picked up this bike about a year ago now. It was just a plain yellow painted rally um, and looking at the catalogues and looking at the group set I, I figured it was an Avanti. 531 tubing, Dior group set and the fork kind of gave that idea but looking a bit closer it looked like the paint was original it had the GOD sticker on it and after I found a bit later on I found out the serial number begins with W which is the workshop workshop digging around even more I found potentially there could have been a few rally bananas made in the Avanti form for promotional items or special built bikes and that's kind of what I'm going for here it was suggested to me by John um, he suggested that the bike would look good in banana and I think it does he actually supplied most of the paint for it and the decals so ever so grateful to him for that um, also supplied a couple of other parts to me with like the grips I'm going to be using on this build and it all, it all come together everything has been painted everything has been polished I've tried to touch up all the black paints and pedals and etc that I can and it's time to build it you will see I've seen that opening shot that there was a little issue with the decals but I'll go into that later um, but for now let's just get on the build and watch it transform Oh. 
Okay, let's try this.
Now oh, the bar ends.
Tovi. Tovi. Should we go and have some lunch? <laughs> I know that's a yes. Yeah, I thought that would. It's in the way. Um, left, right, left, right, right, left. I can get down a little bit. Oh, might be right. Torvi is the cutest. <laughs> you would not believe the amount of cleaning. I've done on this hub, this wheel. <sighs> Almost there though. Almost there. Cam off it.
I do just need to adjust the wheel a little bit more. Six, five, four, eight, two, one. Four, five, six, seven. No way, first time. I'm getting good at this. Sorted. Holy cow, that looks good. John, I know you're probably watching this and that was a damn good suggestion to uh, go the banana route. So uh, thanks for that and thanks for, again, supplying the decals, the yellow and black paint and the primer and uh, the bottle cake. Oh, and the grips. Yeah. Thanks for all that. I absolutely love how this has turned out. Um, obviously, fairly new to the spraying still but it is getting better each time the only downside with this being an ATB or an MTB instead of the road the stripe decals on the chain stays and the down tube haven't quite met in the middle um, the tubes were a little fatter than the road bikes so that's a little disappointing but there's not much I can do about that Apart from that, the spraying has gone beautifully on it and I'm super proud of it actually, super proud. I even went as far as doing the seat post and the pedals and the shifters. Although I did forget to do the, the bar ends, so that's why the black ones are not on there at the moment. Everything has been polished, it took hours and hours of cleaning and polishing, but it has paid off and I don't think there's a spot of rust left on this. I think I've managed to get it all. Probably one of the best builds that I've done. Most attention to detail, I think, yeah. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit nerdy, I guess. The bike itself, I originally thought was an 88 Avanti. Um, it's actually 87, in fact, it's January 87. I did find the serial number on the bottom bracket once I took the cable guide off. 
Um, so yeah, January 1987 in the Worksop factory. It's, it's a special bike. It could well have been a Bart Banana original. It's still sort of an urban legend, urban myth, uh, whether they existed or not. But there is one now, and I know there's at least one other replica as well. It's a beautiful frame. I'm super impressed with the details of it, like all the cable guides, beautifully done, beautifully done. And if you notice as well, the the U-brake, which I've had to sort of get used to, that gives an age away. So if you ever see a U-brake, it's probably between 87 and 89. Generally 87 and 88, they might have crossed over into 89 a little bit more. But it was sort of a fad in the uh, mountain bike or ATB industry at that time. So the rear end on this as well, because it's an 87, should have been a 126mm rear end. Um, it looked like it had been squeezed slightly and the wheel set has definitely been changed to a 7 speed XT so it's more like a 130 now. I have stretched it out, a bit of cold setting to make it fit in a bit easier because originally that was difficult to get out and that was the reason why. It should be a 126 rear end with a 6 speed uni glide um, and I've left that wheel set on instead of finding a 6 speed because Uniglide is a pain in the ass to find parts for. Hyperglide is a lot easier. So, yeah, that's that sorted. Um, anything else? I think that's about it. But if you want to know any more details, just ask. Um, I'll obviously be riding this around, giving it a go. It should be a nice. It should be a nice tourer. Um, if if a Royka was to happen, I would gladly take this. Technically, it fits in to the uh, criteria, despite being a mountain bike or ATB. It's 1987, it hasn't got like clipped ped or clipless pedals, has external routing cables, yeah, friction shifting as well, there we go. But anyway, I'll leave it there, um, I am super happy with how this build has come together and I hope you've enjoyed watching it and seeing it progress. If you do want to see more hit the subscribe button, check out the other videos. Um, there'll be a lot more of these coming this year, hopefully next year and the year after and all that jazz. Please make sure you like, share it around, really helps the engagement and comment as well. Maybe what you like about the bike because all that engagement helps. Oh, and I always forget this till last. If you do want to know where any of the parts came from, uh, check the description because everything is linked there. So I'll know if you didn't get this this far in the video. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna head in now to Torvi. It's dinner time and I am, it's been a long day. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.